G'day guys, how's it going? It's Mick from Escape, and today we're going to be looking at Curse Sanctum, an interactive sort of experience where we are, we're set, our protagonist is Gunther, we're set out in this sort of fantasy setting to go fight evil. Um, it's gotten a lot of praise on the Oculus Store so far, a lot of people seem to love it, so let's just get straight into it. Alright, here we go. So like I said, you take the role as, oh this is cool. I always love it when you can see your own body. Oh look at these broad shoulders, man. These are huge. Yeah, we take the role as Gunther and apparently we set off to... Oh, <laughs> I'll let him talk. Good voice acting. I have got powerful voice acting, you know? Dude, this is good VR. Gunther. Gunther. This VR is sexy. The lighting and the detail on that is amazing. I like this. So unfortunately we're not in control, it's not free roam, which kind of sucks, but it, it, I guess it's an experience. It's going to be an interactive experience, so... That's okay. It's a bit excusable to not have free movement. It's just sort of setting up the story to start with. This must be this. Hello. Easy, Briard. We're almost there now. Is that a dragon? Awesome. Hell yeah. I'm excited for this. I don't know if it's meant to be a pseudo horror experience. There's in the trailer. It seemed like there's a bit, a bit more of a, a horror vibe going on. So I'm not really, you know, when we get into the sanctum itself, I don't actually know what's going to be happening. Okay, enter or leave. Uh, why would we leave? No, we're gonna enter, man. Okay, so we've got choices. This is cool. So maybe if you choose to leave, you have to fight the dragon on the way out. That would be cool. Man. That's so good. Oh, wait, can we stop moving if we... You can. What if you look down? Does that stop you? It does. What if you look right? Nothing. Okay. So you look forward to go look down to stop. Good to know. Yeah, the lighting is so good in the 3D. Awesome. All right, I need to stop looking around there and keep stopping. This is really good. I can see why it's got so much praise. Hope the story's good. All right, in we go. Pretty susp suspenseful so far. Which is good. Oh, man. Yeah, I can see how they can turn this into a, like I said before, a pseudo horror experience. <laughs> Woo! Oh, got the shield up and everything. So, from what I've seen in comments on the, on the game itself, there's all these different choices and paths that you can take. So, and that's what gives the game replay value because it it should be noted that this is a, a paid experience. It's not a free experience. It's uh, four dollars fifty Australian, and then. Uh, just a myth. Stories told These to children by their mothers, and yet here I stand in their cursed sanctum. Oh man, it looks so good. Oh damn, that's nice. Let's keep moving. Dude, this is priming me for something to just, like, jump out at me. <laughs> Please don't, though. I'm not ready. Oh, that door's open. There's going to be something here, for sure. Can we look around? Oh, what is that? It's like a demon or something. Victims of priests disfigured by dark magic. Oh, man. This is going to be a horror experience. I can go. That That is going to jump at me. For sure. For sure. Calling it now. He's going to jump out. Yep. Prepare, prepare. Prepare. Nope. Uh, he's going to grab us. A fallen warrior brutally slain. Nope. Danger still lurks in these halls. Oh, God. Don't tell me that. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. Dude, how deep is this thing?
Oh, I need to keep talking, man. I'm getting too into it. I gotta keep talking. The the VR is. Where am I looking, by the way? Oh crap! I should be looking this way. Oh, well, whatever. I think the this camera is here. Oh man. Hey, dude. Can we go there? That'd be cool. A sacrificial chamber. The legends must be true. Then. It was said that the druids had committed unspeakably depraved acts in the effort to resurrect their god. I believe that. Let's go. Keep moving. Can we go over here? No, I can't. Let's keep moving. It's kind of like a really smart design choice that you need to look forward to keep moving. So that means that anything can be happening on the, you know, to the left, right, or behind you. Ooh, I don't like that though. It's like, what if something just like, just sort of raised up on that, on that slab, like a ghost or something like that. And we have no idea what's behind us. Can we look behind us? Yes, we can. Okay, don't do that. Don't look behind us. Okay, we're going to have to choose a direction now. Uh, left. You always follow the left side of the maze. Which way do I go? Left. Hell to the yeah. Hmm. So into the, to this. This is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. It looks like there's all different bosses that you fight towards the end, and that. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> that's intimidating. Fuck. Oh, wow. Well. We want to keep moving, mate. Yep, keep moving. Into the dragon's mouth. Dude, that's crazy. This is so cool in VR. I can see why they kind of strip the freedom of movement away from you because this this pacing is so suspenseful. Like you're constantly on edge. Like I'll pass a dead, you know, the dead skeleton or whatever before it. It looks like that. Ah shit. Uh, what was it again? Um, mm, that one. <laughs> I have no idea. You have, chosen wisely. have I? No way, did I get it right? <laughs> what a guess. What? It was that thing, remember how you stopped and when I stopped and looked up? It was that weird, um, weird skylight thing that they had. But I kind of feel like no matter what you choose, you still get that. And it's going to like, screw me over later. Dude, that's crazy. And like the 3D on that is crazy. What is that in front of me? Oh, it's nothing. Man, this is cool. Yeah, what I was saying about the pacing is that if you were able to free run, like, just run around in that, this sort of, the suspense and the, atm the atmosphere wouldn't build up anywhere near as much as what it is right now. Like... That wretched odour again. What could be so foul? Mm, a beast. Yeah, if something were to jump out at me right now, like, pfft, block your ears. <laughs> Come on. Take me to the dragon or something. Let me slay something with this mighty sword. For I am Gunther, son of Grom. Uh, we're going to say Grom because that sounds cool. <laughs> Get some weird crackling. I don't know what from. Maybe it's me. Or... Oh. Who's there? Oh. Hello. Are you man or beast? I'm pretty sure that's a beast. <laughs> well, that's one of those things that got slain in there. Come no closer. Do we slash him? Nope. Show go? yourself in the light. Oh there. Oh god! <laughs> slash that boat boy. Nah, fight him. Hell yeah, fight him. Boom. Block. Yeah. Slash. Slash him. Cut his head off. Cut his head off. Ching! Attack. Attack, attack, attack. Oh yeah, attack. Yeah. It's a little bit frustrating I can't slash him. I just want to slash this bad boy right now. I'm going to keep calling people bad boys. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Bang! See? 
Oh yeah. Go Gunther. Destroyed you. Little biatch. Oh. Is he still alive? What is oh, no, I miss him dying. Oh, uh, is this, this going to be the boss, right? Oh, dude. Oh, it's the dragon. He's cool. We got the good... This, this is the cool ending. I think there's two option, uh, two bosses that you can that you can fight. And I was hoping that I'd get the dragon. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go. Um, what do you got? Fight, flee, loot, loot. I want to loot him first. In the spirit of the Hobbit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, we're dead. Did we straight up just die? No. Really? Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm on the sacrificial table now. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh. All right, guys. Well, if you want to see me um, actually finish that off and go do go through another the uh, other side, maybe the right side, or maybe just try to fight the dragon next time, uh, definitely. Uh, is that thing moving? Because that'd be freaky. Yeah, definitely know, let me know down in the comments if you want me to see me finish it all off. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Sorry about the really terrible ending, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Until then, guys, I'll see you in the next VR video. Listen.